Welcome back. I'm going to talk a little bit more about unit conversions before I go on to problem solving using unit analysis or dimensional analysis. The first thing I want to say is that there are some basic conversions that you should really all know from memory, and I know some of you don't know them. If you want to find a convenient list of those, you can go to the back of your textbook. In the first supplemental section, it's page S2. So again, you have access to that online right now. You could also probably find most of these conversions using a simple Google search. That said, let's take a look at a slightly more complicated unit conversion problem. So let's start with a measurement, 60 miles per hour. So I want you to convert that to feet per second. The reason this is slightly more complicated is instead of having just one simple unit, we have a combined unit. So here we have a distance and a time. So the dimension of this measurement is distance over time, miles per hour. The dimension of our answer, since we're just converting units, is still distance over time. To do this, we really need to do two sets of conversions. We need to switch miles to feet, and we need to switch hours to seconds. We're going to do that just like we did before, using our uh, unit factor method, using our conversion factors. So first, we're going to switch miles to feet. To get rid of miles, I'm going to put that on the bottom so it will cancel. I'm going to switch that to feet. You should know that there are 5,280 feet in a mile. Following my units, miles cancels. I now have feet per hour, getting closer to what I want. So now I need to switch hours to seconds. Some of you know how to do that in one step. Let's pretend that we don't. Since hours is on the bottom, to get that unit to cancel, I'm going to put it on the top. To get closer to seconds, I'm first going to switch to minutes. 60 minutes in one hour. I now have feet per minute. To finish off, I need to switch minutes to seconds to get minutes to cancel. Goes on top. I know there are 60 seconds in one minute. So now I have set this up to get the unit I want, feet per second. So now we just have to work it out. Again, I want you to be able to do some things in your head or, if necessary, on paper. So the first thing you should see here is with a 60 on bottom and a 60 on top, in a sense, they cancel. They divide away to be 1. So what we're left with is 5,280 divided by 60. Since they both end in 0, a 10 will go into both. So I could just do 528 divided by 6. Now I think I can do that in my head. 6 goes into 52 8 times. 8 times 6 is 48. It's 4 left over. Bring down the 8. 48 again. Another 8 times, my answer is going to be 88. Now, you probably can't do that in your head. With a little practice, you will be able to, but let's write that out. 5,280 divided by 60, which we said is the same as 528 divided by 6. Using some tricks to make our multiplication and division easier since you don't have access to a calculator. 6 goes into 52, 8 times, 8 times 6 is 48, 52 minus 48 is 4, bring down the 8, 8 times 6 is 48, no remainder, we're all good, here's our answer. video we're going to look at using unit analysis or dimensional analysis to solve problems and I will focus on energy problems.